हेलो एवरीवन इन अवर कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ प्राइवेसी इंफॉर्मेशन मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम और प्राइवेसी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू कलेक्ट द कंसेंट फ्रॉम द डेटा सब्जेक्ट्स एंड आल्सो व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ प्राइवेसी नोटिस दैट नीड्स टू बी प्रोवाइडेड टू द एम्प्लॉई और यू कैन से डेटा सब्जेक्ट बिफोर कलेक्टिंग एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन तो एज पर जी डी पी आर ऑल्सो एंड एज पर पी आई एम एस ऑल्सो आई एस ओ ट्वेंटी सेवन सेवन जीरो वन और वेरियस यू कैन से प्राइवेसी इन्फॉर्मेशन मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम रिलेटेड फ्रेमवर्क और यू कैन से प्राइवेसी रिलेटेड रेगुलेशन विच इज अवेलेबल अक्रॉस द ग्लोब तो इन जी डी पी आर आर्टिकल नंबर फाइव आस्क अबाउट द कंसेंट एंड in uh, when we are talking about iso 27701 that is for pims the clause number 7.2.3 talks about the consent so first we need to understand what actually the consent is and how we need to take the consent so there are two things the first thing is that identification of personal data to be collected first thing what we need to do we need to first identify what are the personal data we are going to collect in you know, my previous video uh, we have covered the attributes of personal data uh, i will also give the uh, link of uh, this video in the description uh, you can say in the description box i will provide the uh, last video details where you can find out uh, what are the attributes of the personal information okay now the first thing what we need to do we need to identify we need to identify what are the personal data we are collecting how we are going to identify suppose the hr function of the organization is collecting the information related to employee okay they are collecting the employee related employee related data employee related personal data like uh, your uh, name your phone number uh, address details your last organization working details your bank account informations so lots of personal information is being uh, collected by the hr team now in the same way uh, the digital marketing team or you can say marketing team of your organization may be collecting various uh, personal information of the user through their websites or through the digital campaign what they are running so there may be different sources from where we are collecting the data the first thing we need to understand what kinds of personal data we are collecting the another step is identification of the source from the personal data to be collected we need to identify the source from where we are collecting the personal data like hr department is collecting personal data from the employee marketing team collecting the personal information through the various digital campaign what they are running in the same uh, in the same way uh, your software development team would be co uh, collecting the personal information through various tools and technology or you can say softwares they are collecting the data so these are the certain sources from where we are collecting the data now so these two things what we need to understand now as per the regulations as per the rule or as per the gdpr the first thing it is we need to see whether we are collecting the personal data or not if we are collecting the personal data what is the source of data now once we do have these uh, both of these information then we need to take a consent from the user the consent from the user should be taken before collecting any information now what actually this consent are so in the consent what we need to do in the cons what is first we need to see what actually the consent is an ident an identification of data subject wishes which affirmatively and clearly indicate acceptance by the data subject of the processing of their personal data in the simple word you can understand while collecting the personal information we need to gather acceptance of the users whether the user has accepted the terms and condition on uh, the terms and condition of the data which you are collecting or collecting 
So these things you need to understand. We need to take acceptance of the users before collecting any personal information that is called as consent in the simple language. Consent by the data subject means when we are taking any consent by, by the data subjects or you can say uh, the persons we are collecting any personal information that consent must be freely given there no, should not be any foundation on the candidates that you need to give the consent this it this is the choice of the data subject or you can say the choice of uh, the persons okay this should be another requirement is that consent should be specific for the purpose while you uh, it, it 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 should be specific na? it should not be like that you have taken consent from uh, for uh, doing the background verification check of the employee and you are sharing those data with the marketing organization if you are sharing those data with any of the organization another organization for processing the information then you need to take another consent in that case so this should be specific for the purpose and the third thing and the most important thing is that the user or candidates or you can say data subjects should be informed now if you are collecting personal information of children's personal information or you can say those who are below 16 years of age in that case you need to take consent from the parents now question comes here when this scenario will come in the organization at the time of joining organization when this uh, consent related to children's data would come suppose you have joined the organization which is giving you a medical benefit they are giving you a medical insurance coverage in that mean uh, medical insurance coverage uh, your children are also covered in that so in that case you are giving the name of the children the date of birth of children to the you uh, to your employer in that case you need the employer need to take consent from you on behalf of your children so this is very important now another thing is that by taking consent it doesn't mean that you are complying with the regulations the consent the next requirement is that the consent should be evidence when required you are taking the consent it's well and good but these consent should be readily available when it is required so this also we need to understand we need to give provision to the data subject or you can say uh, persons so that they can withdraw their previous consents what they have given to you if a user want to withdraw their consent then you need to give the a provision to them to withdraw uh, to withdraw the consent so this is related to consent uh, if you are taking any uh, collecting any uh, collecting or processing any personal information in that case you need to take consent but there are certain rights uh, provided to the users uh, users before collecting any consent you need to inform user for what purpose you are collecting the consent the purpose should be clearly brief to the users or you can say data subject now questions comes here how you are going to uh, brief this to the users so we need to give a privacy notice in that case because there may be lots of user so you need to give privacy notice to the user okay, for what purpose the privacy notice contains for what purpose you are collecting the personal information where you are going to store those information what are the rights of the users are there so you need to give a privacy notice to the user so one sample privacy notice we will discuss here in the privacy notice the first thing what you need to give you need to give your organization name address phone number details and email details all, and all those things now what types of information you are collecting you are collecting what types of information you need to capture here like you need to if you, uh, you are taking consent uh, in the HR department of the organization you need to 
say that I am going to collect the name, phone number, contact detail, your previous employment status and all those things for the background verification purpose. How we get the personal information and where we have it, you need to uh, provide, uh, uh, provide these details also. How you are collecting the personal information and where you are storing it. Now, the, another requirement is also when your purpose would be solved or your data retention period would be over, then you are also going to delete those consent or the you can say delete those information, personal information what you have collected. So these are the things should be considered while giving the privacy notice. How we store your personal information like we are keeping your personal information for such and such time period here you need to mention the time period when you are going to uh, store the information the time period you need to provide here in the privacy notice along with the disposal detail that how you are going to delete your their data when the time period is over data protection rights some of the rights has been given by the uh, privacy regulations like gdpr like first thing is the right to access right to access means whenever data subjects want or the, or the or your employee want you need to provide a copy of the personal information what you have captured right of rectification here the data subject have all the right to ask the employer or you can say data controller or data processor to rectify data in case of any updations required right of erasure is also there when a data subject ask you to erase all your personal information in some circumstances then you need to erase those data right of restrict processing also you need to provide them right in this what you need to do uh, you have the right to ask to restrict the processing of your personal information in certain cases your right to object to processing is also there and right to data portability if you want you to port your all your personal information this rights is also given these are the details you need to provide in privacy notice now when users have any concern or any complaints related to the uh, related to the data what has been collected in that case you need to provide uh, you need to give a process or your procedure how they can raise a complaint or they can raise their query in that case normally uh, organizations are giving dpo contact details or you can say the chief privacy officer detail or you you do have privacy office within your organization that privacy office details would be given there so these are the things would be considered in the privacy notice what needs to be given to the user while collecting any consent so i hope you have understand the purpose behind the consent and the privacy notice because it's also the gdpr requirement it's also the requirement of various privacy related frameworks and while collecting any personal information you need to first take the consent and you need to give the privacy notice to user in the privacy notice you need to write for what purpose you are collecting the data, where you are going to store the data, what are the controls we, you do have to protect the personal information of the users which you have collected and what are the rights uh, of the users as per the regulations. These are the major things what needs to be covered under the consent and privacy. I hope now uh, consent and the privacy notice is clear to you. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.